Hey everyone, welcome back to Random Clickers, where we explore amazing cities and incredible places around the world. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you never miss an update. Our trip starts in Distrante. As we cross the stunning Samuel de Champlain Bridge, you'll get breathtaking views of the St. Lawrence River. On the topic of the new Samuel de Champlain Bridge, this bridge, opened in 2019, is not only an architectural masterpiece, but also one of the busiest crossings in Canada providing breathtaking views of the St. Lawrence River. As we approach Montreal, you'll see the city's beautiful skyline coming into view. The REM makes traveling between Brossard and Montreal fast and convenient. enter downtown Montreal, the vibrant heart of the city. You'll notice the blend of historic charm and modern sophistication that makes the city so unique. Our first stop is the Old Port of Montreal, a historic area that dates back to the 17th century. Here, you can stroll along the cobblestone streets enjoy the waterfront views, and soak up the lively atmosphere. La Grande Rue de Montréal standing at an impressive 60 meters tall, is the tallest observation wheel in Canada. Opened in 2017, this magnificent structure offers breathtaking views of the cityscape, the St. Lawrence River, and beyond. From the top, you'll see iconic landmarks like Mount Royal, the Olympic Stadium, and the bustling streets of Old Montreal. It's a photographer's dream come true. Just a short walk from La Grande Rue, you'll find the historic clock tower. Built between 1919 and 1922, this 45-meter tall structure serves as a memorial to sailors who died during World War I. The clock tower is not just a beautiful piece of architecture, it's also a lighthouse that once guided ships safely into Montreal's harbour. Next, we head up to Mount Royal, the iconic mountain that gives the city its name. From the top, you get a spectacular view of Montreal's skyline, a perfect spot for photos and to appreciate the city's beauty.
Montreal, we take Highway 30, a scenic route that offers a smooth drive as we head toward our next destination, Toronto. As we approach Toronto, we join Highway 401, one of the busiest highways in North America. This major artery stretches across southern Ontario, connecting many cities and towns. At its widest, the 401 spans an incredible 18 lanes. Known for its heavy traffic, it's a vital route for commuters and travelers alike. Entering downtown Toronto, the cityscape is dominated by one of Canada's most iconic landmarks, the CN Tower. Standing at 553.3 meters, or 1,815 feet, the CN Tower was the world's tallest freestanding structure for 32 years. Whether you're looking at the breathtaking views from the observation deck or daring to walk on the glass floor, the CN Tower offers an unforgettable experience. Just a short walk from the CN Tower is the Toronto Railway Museum a hidden gem for history enthusiasts and train lovers alike. Here, you can explore the rich history of Canada's railways and see beautifully preserved locomotives and artifacts. As our visit to downtown Toronto comes to an end, we head out of the city via the Gardiner Expressway. This scenic route offers stunning views of the waterfront and the Toronto skyline, making it a perfect way to conclude our journey. Along the Gardiner, it's easy to see why Toronto is such a beloved city. From its iconic landmarks to its bustling streets, Toronto is a city that never ceases to amaze. Thanks for joining us on this exciting road trip from Montreal to Toronto. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Random Clickers for more exciting travel adventures. Drop a comment below with your favorite landmark from this trip, or let us know which city we should explore next. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.